The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio. Yo, special guest in the building. Baton Rouge in the building. Cali Kilo in the building. Hey, What's just up? that Kilo. What's, what's good, man? Appreciate you for having me, man. For Thanks real. For being here. It's a blessing, bro. You know what's funny? It's like if you type your name in, like if you switch the, the C and the K in your name real quick and you look up like Cali Kilo, like the other Cali comes up. And I was like, wait, that's a. Wait, I already had that one. Oh, I fuck with her, though. That's my homegirl. Shout out Cali. Yeah, because you know, I, I, I fuck with her. I typed it in wrong and I'm like, I know I didn't type this in wrong, and then I flipped it around. I was like, "Oh, okay, okay, I, I, I found her." But I was like, "I was like, that's kind of funny how like that you just flip the one, literally the one letter now, and it's like a completely different artist pops up." Hell yeah, we got the same birthday too. You lying? Hell yeah, for real? Leo, big Leo shit. Oh, you Leo? What N- day? NK Kilo. NK Kilo. All got the same birthday. But what's what's your day? August, mine's August fourth. Oh, August 9th. Let's go. Oh shit, we twin. We yeah. down there twin. Yeah, August Leo's doing the best. You heard me? That's a no fact. Cat. What? No cat. You're August fourth too. Twin! <laughs> What's <the hell? laughs> But you and K Kilo, K Kilo have the same birthday too? Yeah. What? That's So you, K Kilo, and Callie all are on the same day? Yup. That's crazy. I never yep. knew that. I know me and K Kilo for sure. Yeah. Callie, I. Yeah, I when I first met K Kilo, I was like, you a Leo? And then we was like, damn, K- same birthday? K- that's Kilo crazy. K Kilo is definitely a Leo. You know, she from, she from Louisiana too, yeah. so. Her, oh, no, her t- birthday, Callie is uh, July 29th. Oh, shit. Same thing. July. Uh, July, Leo. You don't like July, Leo? But K-Kilo, check, check K-Kilo. No, I know K-Kilo's birthday's in August. Yeah, yeah. yeah we haven't talked about that. July, Leo's, you know, they different from the August, Leo. How? Know? We more turnt. August, Leo's more turnt, for sure. De- definitely. July, Leo's. When, pe- when you see on Instagram and shit, people be like, Leo's be lying. That's them July motherfuckers, boy. They some fucking liars, bro. August, Leo, we loyal. You heard me, you heard me. We... We, yep. we got it down packed. We, we them ones. We them ones. We them ones you want. August no Leo's is definitely the ones you want. We them ones you want. Because we be, mm-hmm, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. Well, I'm excited to have you here. Man, appreciate it, bro. For real. It took me a... Bro, I know. You I, went, like, I went through some here. shit to get to this bitch. I ain't gonna lie. I can cuss, right? Yeah. All right. I was just making We're sure. We're past you know. the first 15 seconds of the video, so YouTube is, should be okay. All right. Now. I went through some shit to get to this bitch. No cap. <laughs> It took me a day and a night and a couple hours. It took me a long time to get to this bitch. I thought I was not going to make it. Barely made it from the fucking airport. So let's talk about what was going on. So it was just like it's just American Airlines was just playing the, the games that American Airlines likes to play. I don't want to put them out there, but you know, American Airlines, y'all really some hoes. <laughs> I really expect some travel credit when I get back to Louisiana because I'm not fucking with all the shit y'all put me through yesterday. I missed my first check-in yesterday at my hotel out here, so now I'm out of pocket of that. American Airlines, y'all got to pay for that. Y'all got to pay for that. Because guess what? I would have flew spirit. They would have got me to this bitch. They would have put me in the air, got me to this bitch. They would have had her fly on the plane, too. She would have been like, ah, let me drive. I got this. And guess what? We would have got here. No kizzy. No kizzy. Oh, God. Well, at least you're here. You flew here from Louisiana? Shit, yeah. So you were born and raised in Louisiana, right? Yes, sir. But you started off doing, like, camera work originally, right? Uh, well, I've been rapping. I've been rapping since I was like eight. So I kind of picked up the camera kind of at the same time. So I've, I've been doing, I, I used to make like parodies and shit. Okay. Like if you go on YouTube and like deep dive, mm. find the old Cali Kilo, I used to make parody videos. Like, Were you ever like, on Vine? Hell yeah. Oh, you might have been. You went viral a couple times on Vine? Uh, I went viral a couple times on Vine, not hella times. Let me see. I went viral on TikTok a couple times too, though. Were you still Cali Kilo back then? Yeah. Cali Kilo, Cali Kilo Vine. Let's see. Oh, it'd it be popping up shit like that? I don't know. I'm just, I'm hoping. <laughs> it, it definitely don't. It's probably too old to pop up. But <laughs> you used to, so you used to do like a lot of parodies back in the day. When they were doing that, um, fuck. It was that one challenge they had on Vine, and it was like, it was like, I know I heard this from you times before. Remember that? Yeah, that, of that challenge, and everybody was like screaming, like, you know what pisses me the fuck off? Oh, like the like girl. That, I was doing those, so I did one of those, and I was like, you know what the fuck I hate? A bitch that come and try to fuck with me, and she ain't gay. And then that bitch just went viral, bro. I was like, 16. Yo, you went platinum in the LGBTQ community. Platinum. Oh, I'm still going platinum in that bitch. They fuck with me. No cap. No cap. Nah, that's bad. For, I'm sure, I'm sure, like, at the time, because, like, it's not like how it is now where that's, like, so widely accepted. Yeah. It's, like, still, still like, kind of... 
Shit Treacherous shit. water in the vine shit in, the, shit. in the fine days. Shit shit. So like I'm like it's like you went viral in a lot of great places, but then also I'm assuming a lot of bad places too. Shit 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 shit. Bro. Somehow you end up on Fox News and they're like Man. Louisiana artist Cali Kilo. Okay, <laughs> I don't. I ain't gonna get to talk about the national news shit. But you, we so you've been there. So you've been like, so you've been like privy to like how the internet works. Like, yeah. like you've been doing this then. Yeah, I'm gonna say like, internet been around a long ass time, right? Mm -hmm. I remember the first day like I ever heard of YouTube. Like I got on YouTube and like everybody was just cranking that Soldier Boy. I was like, <laughs> fuck it, I'm finna do this shit too. I'm finna crank the fuck out that Soldier Boy. So I, I got a video cranking that Soldier Boy. I probably was like ten. Maybe 11 or some shit. Mm -hmm. Like, that's one of my first videos doing a soldier boy that fucking stank leg. And then ever since then, I've just been like doing little vlogs and shit. Like, all the shit them YouTubers and shit doing now, I had been doing that shit, but I was just doing it for just because. Like, I just like doing that shit. Like, I ain't really care about the views or nothing. Right. Like, I was just doing it. Like, imagine a fucking 10 year old kid just recording their day to day life. Mm -hmm. Like, that was, that was me. That was me. I was just chilling. I was fucking with it. So you was already doing the day to day life shit that shit, early too. That's shit, crazy. Shit, shit. So but so you were fucking around with the videos, doing social media stuff, and then you were also like, when did you start taking rapping seriously? Man, I probably started taking rapping serious when I was like 15. I had my first song that kind of blew up in my city, mm. which it was a, in, in BR we got jig music. It's like, kind of like a hype dance type shit. Uh, it was a jig song, so that bitch blew up. They started playing that bitch in the clubs and shit. You know, start calling for us to come perform and shit. And then that's just when I started taking that shit serious. I was like, fuck it, I'ma just rap for real. Mm -hmm. I just started rapping for real. That's crazy. Shit, yeah. So explain jig music to a New Yorker. Jig music is like <clears throat> <sighs> that bit like it's like a spicy fuck. Imagine a ghetto salsa. Okay. With right. with a little bit of jumping. You ever seen the Baltimore Stump or whatever they call yeah, that shit? Yeah, it's kind of like that, but we was doing that shit before they was doing that. Okay. So we it's, we a little little more loose with it. We do a lot of jumping, a lot of <laughs> clapping, two stepping, fucking. We got this shit called the Dolphin. We got all type of shit, bro. It's it's really some wild shit. It's 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 some wild looking shit, but you'll have to be from there to understand. If you get on uh, TikTok and shit now, though, that shit popular. They doing that shit on there, yeah. like all them little challenges and shit. Like a lot of New Orleans and BR shit is on TikTok jumping right now. That's what they fucking with. So when did the produce? When did you also learn how to produce? Because today's freestyle that you did was over your own uh, original beat. Facts, facts, facts. I started producing when I was like eight, nine. I had FL Studio Six. That's like you know FL Studio. They on twenty now. Yeah. So since that's an old ass program. My dad, he was uh, I used to always watch him produce and shit. So I just one day hopped on that bitch and was just start fucking with the beats. I really wasn't that good, but I learned like placements and shit and started developing sound. And then I just, I started rolling with. It. I started making some cool shit. Like y'all heard the beat? That be hard. That be hella fire. Like it's nothing around like that type shit. Like it got a little br flair in it, a little little Louisiana flair in that bitch. But you know, still a little bouncy, up tempo. I just I just started fucking with that shit and just you know time over over time got got pretty good. Mm, that's tough. So you've been through, how much of your own shit would you say you produce? Um, I probably say like I say like forty percent. I don't even produce a lot of my songs. I, I say forty percent is a lot. Forty forty percent. I say forty percent. Then I got this. Uh, I got a producer from the Bay. His name is Janabu. Mm -hmm. He cold. He young as hell. He like a freshman in college. He cold, like I'll co-produce co with him and shit. Now I got a dude from overseas, MK Mentality. Mm. He produced for me too. So you got like a lot of like what I've noticed when we've been talking, even just hanging out here at the studio, like you're very connected to the Bay Area. Yeah, I really, 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 really fuck with the Bay, like heavy as fuck. Like I've always loved the Bay Area. Like my favorite uh, rappers, artists are from the Bay. Like I fuck with E40. E40, one of my top rappers you of know? all time. Sugar T. Okay. Like his sister was cold. She still his sister cold as fuck. Like if I had to say like the Bay, I would say they probably had a, a little influence on me growing up for sure, for sure. And I just I've been fucking with it ever since, bro. I think my first time visiting the Bay was like probably like I want to say I fell off in the Bay like 2014. Okay. I was in love with the culture. I was like, damn, this shit hard because it kind of reminded me of home a little bit, but it was a little more like. 
I don't know. It's just they got something in them. That shit hard. They, they hard as hell out there. Like they got a little more culture and shit. Like I fuck with that shit hard. Mm. And then so all black. Obviously you have a friendship with black. I uh I actually I'm friend with his uh I'm 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 real close with um you know Sansu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. They're fire. Yeah, Sansu I'm I'm real close with Sansu and Imahalani. Yeah. And uh I uh I have a homeboy named Dre. He's a uh, AR for Empire. Mm. And that's how I got up that's how I got introduced to Why, all black yeah. yeah. That's fire. You're gonna be out in LA with him for Rolling Loud, right? You yeah, think? I mean, I'm gonna be out there with Sue Lion. Oh, Sue, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're gonna be out there turn, bro. Are they supposed to come see me eventually, too, because Black put me onto them. Man, I'm, I'm annoying. I'm not, they was originally supposed to be here today, but you know. Oh, they were supposed to come with some, you originally? Yeah, yeah, they had some other stuff going on, mm, okay. so, you know, they're gonna, they gonna shake back. They're gonna get here for sure, and they're gonna. I ain't lying. they the most hardest female rappers I've ever heard in my life. They're gonna come here and fuck shit up. <laughs> fuck, look. Fuck shit up. I swear to God, they fuck shit up everywhere they go. They hard. They fire. Fire as fuck. And so, with the, along with the production side, since we were just talking about that too, like you told me you have like a whole project with Vay Vanilla that you're working on too? Yeah, we finna, we finna try to get this EP done, bro. We did, uh, we got this one song we did the other day that was so hard, bro. I, I just know that bitch gonna go crazy on TikTok. Like, she, she came in that bit too fire, like, too fucking fire. And then my homeboy made the beat, so it's like, Bro, I wish I, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you hear that hoe so you can see I'm not lying. That bit coming soon, y'all. Stay tuned, coming soon. I'm not lying. We finna fuck TikTok up with it, fuck Instagram up with it, fuck everything up. I just I just know like I believe in it that much. This shit finna go crazy. How did y'all two meet online? I met Vay Vanilla. I, I think we met on Instagram, like through some music shit. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, met on Instagram through some music shit. I think I actually found her through one of my homegirls that's from Detroit. That's okay. also from Detroit, yeah. That's fire. Yeah. So when y'all is the EP done? Like y'all have enough songs for it? Oh, uh, it's no, it's not done. It's for okay. sure not done yet. No, it's it's for sure not done yet. But we gonna we gonna get that bitch right. We finna start working on the video. Well, finna start planning the video for the mm -hmm. first one we just did. Then we finna fit. We gonna figure it out. Try to get that bitch. I mean, we both work pretty fast, so we gonna get that bitch done. Right. That there's no doubt about that. Right. Yeah, but shit, just be on the lookout. It's coming for sure. I'm gonna give you the heads up first for sure. Appreciate that. Already. That love. I love what Baton Rouge really got going on right now, too, because, like, you know, I've had Fredo, TG up here. Yeah. Um, obviously, yourself and uh, Wak yeah. Wakai. Wakai was up here not too long ago. Wakai, too. my dog. Like, I fuck with Fredo. K, obviously, K Kilo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That's, that's my homegirl. Um, I really like what, what it's got going on because there's so many different, like, like lanes. Like, I think when Wakai and I were talking about, he's like, look, bro, you got, like, the. You know, you got like the uh, the jig the jig music, right? Uh huh. Um, you got that. Then you got like Wakai, who does kind of like the more like introspective rapping kind of hella underground shit. shit. And they not you, used to that out there, bro. Yeah. And they, then you got like the hood shit. You got like you know. You got the hood shit. Stuff yeah. for the streets, and then like shit you know, what I'm saying? there's a little bit for everybody out there. Shit, yeah. And see, I think I'm opening up a new lane. What do you think your lane is? Then? Shit, I'm really opening this shit up for the gay community out there, like LGBT. I I come in that bitch. Everybody see me, you know, they expect me to, you know. I don't know, you know, all the female rappers today, they pretty be pretty much be on some different shit, you know. Mm. Talking about whatever the fuck they want to talk about, city girl type shit, et cetera, et cetera. But I feel like what I bring to the table is I come to that bitch and yeah, I know I'm a woman, but I'ma talk about how I do shit as a nigga for real. Like I'm around this bitch slanging dick just like niggas is. Like <laughs> shit like that. Like I'm opening shit up for that side of the community. <laughs> like you ain't got no, you know, you really ain't got no Stud rappers representing for the female rappers, like other than Young M.A., but who else can you say other than that? Right. Like, think about it. And Young M.A., she be on some, you know, some street shit, some hood shit. I'm really on a fun, some funny shit. Like, you know, I just be trying to jost. And jostin is like, I joke about everything. Right. Like, like in the yeah. freestyle, like you have yeah. fun with it today. Yeah, I have. Yeah, like, I just, I just like to make people laugh type shit. Like, but. While I'm making them laugh, I'm telling true life stories. Like, I don't, I don't rap about shit I never done. The shit be real for real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you, do you find, like, has it been harder for you to break through because of, like, the context of your rap and what you're mm -hmm. talking about? I think. Or be accepted? Kind of, sort of, yeah. But I feel like there's also moving towards, like, it's, it's like the growth is coming a little slow, but they're also trying to move, like, outwards into like different shit like if yeah. you see like the shit that's popping right now it ain't no regular ass shit like it's they I, I feel like people are more 
What's the fucking word? Accepting? I'm accepting of certain things now. Yeah, so sure. they're starting to accept it more. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, obviously, like, you know, we were talking about the Von days back then. Like, you know, while a lot of people still accepted people in the, in the LGBTQ community. Right. It's like it wasn't as comfortable with in a lot of people's minds as it is now. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, and I, right. And I still think, especially in music, we have a long, a long ways to go. But like, like you said, like you know, there have been people on both sides of that coin who Facts. have pushed. Whether it's like you know, you look at someone like Saucy Santana from that angle, Facts. or Facts. you look and at Young MA up. from Young MA's angle. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, it's starting to become more popular, ex- popular and accepted. And it's yeah. just like also it's just about finding the right record because I feel like yeah. it doesn't matter who you are if yeah. you get the right song. You're gonna go regardless, and your personality. Obviously, you have the personality, so it's just like it's thank about you, getting the right you. song mixed with the personality. Facts, I do, facts, facts. Just, I, which I feel like was like really what helped propel Saucy to where they're at now. You know, too. You yeah, because yeah, I mean? he had that personality for sure. Like definitely had the personality. He was yep. hella entertaining to watch. Like I feel like that got a lot to play with shit now too. People, they they really they the fucking attention span is short as fuck. Od. So it's like. You really got to catch somebody's attention. Like, you can lose somebody's attention in 15 seconds. If you don't catch them the first 15 seconds, they're not going to fuck with you. Mm. Like, it's it's just, it's really some big energy shit. You got to have that personality. Niggas really not fucking with personality nowadays. Like, like it's just, it's, if you ain't got the personality, they, they really don't want to fuck with you because you, you're going to lose their attention type shit. Right. Which also, but like, it's like, you know, at least you had the luxury of like knowing the internet and how it works. True, true, true. You know true, what I'm saying? Which I feel like a lot, of, a lot of other artists like you probably wouldn't have that same luxury. Like, they're probably just like, damn, why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm not accepted because of how I am, how I look. Ah, whatever. Yeah. But, um, but like, you kind of came up in a time where you went viral plenty of times. So it was like, Bad you kind of already know how to manipulate certain things to the way that you want it to be. Yeah. So you don't really fall into those same uh, issues that other artists might have, you know what I'm saying? Who true, true, true. But also you kind of, you kind of open your, your goal is to obviously open the door in that sense too for them at the same time. Yeah, 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 for sure. I, yeah. I say the same. Yeah, I agree for sure. Yeah. The same way Saucy opened the door for more artists like Saucy, you know what I'm saying? Facts. Facts. Cause now it's, it's, it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of gay men that rap Ken, now. Kid Ken's a dope rapper too. Oh, he's so fucking hard. Yeah, he's Ken. so hard. Kid Ken, Ken was Ken actually supposed to come six. um up And here. Deli Bo, he hard too. Deli Bo, I gotta look yeah. Deli Bo up. Kid Ken was supposed to be up here in June, but I had a family thing and we didn't get to make it happen. But I'm always upset that I didn't get to make that happen because I'm like, damn, that would have been pretty tight to, to kind of you know ha- ha- do that and like have Kid Ken um talk his shit on here too, especially you know. Yeah, he talk he his rap too. He, he talk rap, his rap. shit for sure. He talk his shit. I fuck with it. I like anybody that talk their shit. <laughs> now I feel like. That's that's the yeah, talk your shit. Don't also, t- uh, on the last project you did a record with Erica Banks too, right? Yeah, Erica, that's one of mine. That's one of mine. That's one of mine. <laughs> Ace Boom Coon, Erica Banks, Ace Boom Coon. You know, my dog, little Erica. How did you two first get connected too? Man, I met Erica through one of my best friends that passed away. Her name was DJ D Baby. Rest in peace. She was the DJ in Houston. That was the girl who, yeah, that know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she was, yeah, 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 yep, yep. I met. That's how I met Erica. We went, we went, and got drunk as fuck one night in Houston. Uh, uh, shit. Ever since then, you know, me and Erica just been locked in, bro. Like, I, I love Erica like a sister. That's like, that's that's with my dog. Mm. You got more music yeah. together? We gonna work on some other shit together. Okay. We be too busy getting. We be fucking off. <laughs> We, she got, she got, she, she be having a lot of shit going on too. But we gonna get some more shit together for sure, for sure. Yeah, no, I no, feel no. like when you so caught in the moment of life, you don't be, it, it don't be, we don't be focused on shit like that. Cause, yeah. But shit, we gonna, we for sure gonna, we finna get some more shit together for sure. Words. So what else are you working on for the rest of this year? What else we got going on? Man, twenty twenty three, January. You know, right now I'm just going on a super, super, super run. I'm trying to go get all these. I'm trying to get in their face as much as I can. Like, I'm trying to make sure people know who the fuck I am and what the fuck I'm about, where the fuck I come from. You know, so I'm really, I got two EPs I'm going to drop. I got an album I'm going to drop. I got some joint collabs. I got hella videos stacked up that I'm just waiting for the right time to just start exploding on their ass, you know. Right. Shit, I'm going to fuck with, shit, I'm going to fuck with some, some performances, probably go on another tour. But I'm gonna be. I'm gonna organize my own tour though. Get my own artists come perform and shit, and oh. we just go different venue to venue, city to city, and just you know, gra- grab our fan base from those places and just fuck some shit up. 
Word. Well, I'm excited for everything you got coming up. Shit, okay. shit, bro. Appreciate it. Congratulations appreciate it. on everything that you've uh, accomplished so far. I can't wait to see what you do next. Freestyle's out uh, now, so make sure you go check that out. Already. Um, before we get out of here, uh, let the people know they can follow you. Anything else you want to let the fans know? Now it's time to do it. This camera right here. One more. This one right here. This one right here on the side. This one right here. Yep. One more motherfucking time. This is Cali fucking Kilo. Cali Kilo checking in. You already know what it is. Follow me at Instagram, official Cali Kilo. Yep. YouTube, Cali Kilo. Twitter, Cali Kilo. All you got to do is search them two words. You're going to find me anywhere. Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, whatever your platform of choice is. I'm on there, you know. And just lock in with me, you know. Funny ass nigga, I'm going to make y'all laugh. You're just come fuck with me. It's good. Baton Rouge, checking out. Baton Rouge in the Baton building. Baton Rouge, checking out. Well, make sure you go follow her. Go run up everything she has out now. Go show us some love. Go show us some support. Go run up that freestyle. Love us, free support us, free subscribe. And do that till next time on the radar. Baton Rouge, Cali Kilo, we in the building. Hey, hey, <laughs> fire. <laughs>